Pat's two cents. Be encouraged, even though it looks bleak right now and some things look really hopeless for some people. In spite of the fact that we may lose some to the coronavirus, remember this, God is for you. And if God is for you, who could be against you? No matter what happens, you still win if you're in Christ Jesus. Why? Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Now, even though it looks like many people are losing the battle, remember this. Jesus Christ looked like he was losing the battle when he was on the cross. Did he not? But he had to die before he could be resurrected. And he had to be resurrected in order for us to overcome this world. In order for us to receive the Holy Spirit that enables us to overcome this world. So even though he had to die, he still won the war. He won the battle. He won the whole kit and caboodle for our sake. And because he won, we win. God bless you as you hear this song. Whatever goes wrong, whatever you deem as a loss, remember if your loved one is in Christ, they win. So whatever you do and whatever happens to you, please try your best not to complain. Praise him. Don't blame him. God bless you. Let this song lift your spirits. All I had was bad days And I have hills to climb Then I have sad days and then a weary mind Yet when I look around And I think these things aloud All of the good things Outweigh the bad things I can't complain God, you're so good to me. He is so good to me. More than this world could be. He's so good to me. His spirit came to me. And gave me victory. God is so good to me. I can't complain. Sometimes the clouds hang low. And I'd like to see them go. Then I ask the question, Lord, why so much pain? But He knows what's best for me, although I cannot see. I just say, thank you, Lord. I can't complain. Oh, God is so good to me. Yes, He is so good to me. More than this world could be. He's so good to me. His Spirit came to me and gave me victory. God is so good to me, I can't complain. 
My God is so good to me. I can't complain. I just want to end with this one quick comment. Sometimes God works in timing and he allows the negative to work on his behalf and work out for our good. Now, I lost my husband in 2013 and to this day, I miss him. I could spend eternity being married to him. That's how much I enjoyed being with him. But God let me know in advance, in a vision and a dream that it was my husband's time and confirmed it with the diagnosis. The next 33 days, my husband and I spent preparing for his departure. tell you what should have and could have been a very dark period in my life was an actual love fest because we kept God in the center of our attention and Milton praised and worshiped God even when all he could do is have the strength to wave his hand to the praise music. Milton continued to praise God. He and I prayed together. He and I loved on each other. And we shared how much we appreciated each other. So what could have and should have been a very dark, sad, uh, gruesome time in our life ended up being a time of beauty, love, and, and, and exuberance, even though the sadness was there of having to part from one another for a moment. We knew that one day we would meet. But in the meantime, no matter what happened, right then, we made the best of what we had together. And I say to you this, in the middle of darkness, God's light can shine brightly if you pull back the shades and see what he has for you in these moments. God bless you. Be encouraged. God is with you in the trenches. You're not there alone. Whew. Be encouraged. That's all I can say. God knows what he's doing. And sometimes he purges and cleanses and removes a lot in order to make room for other blessings. Don't curse this darkness. God works in the darkness. I'm telling you. My husband came back to show me how happy he was. And I'm telling you, I would not take that away from him. For all the tea in China, God bless you.